What's up everybody? It's Yui Meme here. I got a mystery package here. No idea where it's from. Um, I was recording my video and then my dad came in with the package. He's like, I don't know what this is. So I'm gonna open it in my video later. Uh, I have lots of things on my mind. Number one, look at how crazy my hair looks, okay? It looks really, 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 really good in, right now in my opinion. And uh, the reason why is because, um, you know, when I wake up, right? I have a lot of things on my mind. When I wake up, okay? Uh, let's say I have something going on at noon and I wake up at 6.30. Uh, the, the time spent on my hair is theoretically from 6.30 to noon, right? But it's not necessarily something I'm actively thinking about at all times. It's more of like a background task in my head, right? So I'm always thinking like, man, you know, um, like let's say I'm getting water. I'm like, man, I should brush my hair right now. Or man, it's, it's like I'm using the bathroom. I should put on my hairband. You know, uh, just so then over time, these compounding decisions uh, result in, you know, an end product that I'm happy with. I really appreciate this. You know, in the mornings, I wake up at like 5, 10 um, every morning. Uh, and I have school at around um, 8, right? And, uh, you know, I take a shower in the morning because I like doing that. Uh, a good, a very good friend of mine, he always talks about how um, I should, <laughs> I, I should take showers at night, right? But, um, you know, um, I don't know. I, I, I think that's kind of weird, but I always take a shower in the morning. Um, so I get plenty of time. I take a shower. Um, I let my, I do my hair. I let my hair dry for a couple hours. Um, and then, you know, I'm basically, you know, I'm basically styling my hair up until, you know, I show up at school. Right. Um, and it's very, it's just something I really care about. Right. Because, um, I don't know. I'm a very, I, I, I like to consider myself, um, a rather, uh, marketable person uh and i think i think it's imp i think um looks are very important and uh you know it's just just generally societally um looking looking at your best is is some of the, one of the most important things you can do you know and I, I really care about my hair here's here's thing number two okay uh this is another weird self-care thing which is like super minute and and very detailed like what i just talked about <sighs> okay uh sometimes before i leave uh my house or before i do something i blow my nose uh, so then, you know, I'm not breathing through my mouth because, <laughs> um, you know, if my nose is just a little blocked, I start like, you know, like breathing through my mouth like a crazy person, you know, so I, I try to breathe through my nose and so I always blow my nose before I leave so then I can breathe through my nose properly. And, uh, you know, uh, something I always do is after my shower, I always put lotion on my face and like retinoid cream, right? Because, uh, you know, that, that's just good to have on your face. And, um, you know, I wash my face in the shower with this foaming facial cleanser. And, uh, you know, after I blow my nose before I leave, I always think to myself, man, should I have waited? Like, I should, like, whenever I blow my nose, you know, and snot gets up here and I wipe it off, um, I always think to myself, like, man, maybe my face is dirty now. Maybe I should wash my face again, you know? And, you know, I always wonder, you know, after my shower, um, should I wait until I blow my nose before I leave and then do my face and then leave? Or, um, you know, is me blowing my nose and getting a tiny bit of snot on my upper lip, like, theoretically okay? Like, is it not, like, because if, if snot, if snot gets here and you wipe it off, like, the snot's still there microscopically, you know, and it's gonna, it's gonna infect your pores and it's gonna do things that I don't even know about because it hasn't even been going on for that long, right? So, you know, I'm not sure if, you know, I should put lotion on my face and put my retinoid cream on my face right after I get out of the shower, or if I should wash my face and put retinoid cream on and, and lotion on um, after I blow my nose before I leave. I don't know. That's just something I'm thinking about. I'm just showing it out there, you know, sort of rubber ducky type thing. We'll see. Uh, you know, another thing that happened today was I was um, trying to set up my um, my screenshot thing on my NAS server. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, I um, just recently got a NAS server. I You know, I spent the last six months or so saving up for it and I just got a NAS server um, with over 60 terabytes of storage. Um, it's very expensive, very good NAS server, right? Which is very well made, you know? Um, because I'm running out of space on my computer, I have around 11 terabytes of storage on my computer altogether, and, and I have everything on there, and it's very, um, it's very important to me, right? Uh, and so I just want, like, a good server with good, like, data protection and smart tests running all the time, and just, like, a, a good place to have all my storage. And it happens to have six times the amount of storage that I have now. I'm running out of storage on my computer. It would be nice to have a NAS server, right? So I have this, I'm moving all my files over, right? Right now I'm kind of primarily moving my YouTube channel archive over, um, but you know, I was like, well, you know, my computer takes a screenshot every five minutes, right? And uh, right now, because I ran out of storage on my dedicated screenshot SSD, um, I now have two directories where the five minute screenshots are. I have one directory, which is like my old screenshots that go, go every five minutes. And then I have one that is my active one um, that 
actively is written to every five minutes with a new screenshot, right? And uh, you know, I'm always thinking to myself, like, man, it sucks. It really sucks that whenever I need to look at something, I need to be like, oh, is this before or after September of 2020 when I moved the old five minute screenshots to the old folder and then I have the new one. And so it sucks. It's, it's something I have to think about. It's like an extra, it's a, like an extra thing I have to think about before I look at my screenshots, right? And so something I always like to do, um, I've always wanted to do is once I have this NAS server, I'm going to have all of them in one folder. And here's another nice thing. Okay, okay, I'm gonna have all of them in one folder on my NAS server, right? And so I did this, I moved all of them over, but here's the problem. Uh, let me just do a... I almost should cut myself. Uh, a knife is just in here, I just, I just flailed my hand directly into a knife. I'm fine though. Uh, let me just do a quick count, right? Um, right now I have a little... I have, hold on. So my five minute screenshots, the screenshots that my computer takes of all of my monitors every five minutes, um, I have just over 43,000 screenshots, right? Uh, and it's a little over like 100 gigabytes or so, maybe 150 gigabytes of screenshots. And um, you know, the problem is, is when you open up a directory um, with 50,000 files in it in a, some sort of GUI file manager, for example, the one I use Dolphin you know, on my computer, um, is it kind of bugs out. <laughs> you know, it's sort of inevitable on Windows, it's inevitable on Linux, it's probably inevitable on Mac. I don't know, I use Mac. Um, but if you open up a file or like a directory with like 50,000 files in it, it's kind of going to bug out, right? Because it's not meant, like, they're not meant to view a folder with 50,000 files in it. I was thinking like, man, I guess I'm going to have to um, sort them into year, month, day subdirectories, right? Uh, I don't know if any of you use Picasa, um, but back in the day, you know, we used to manage our photos with this thing called Picasa that ran on our computers. And uh, one really nice feature about it is you would have a main photos directory, and then whenever you would move a photo into it, it would look at the metadata of the photo, and it would sort it into um, a year. So it would have a, you would go into your photos, you would have a bunch of year folders, you would double click on those, you see all the months in the year, you would double click on that, you see the, all the days in the year, and then you can click on individual days and you can see all the photos taken in that day. And I was like, man, I could probably write a script um, that um, automatically sorts, that automatically looks at the metadata of all of these, um, all of these screenshots and just sorts them into year, month, day folders, right? Uh, and I was thinking, you know, I could do that, <laughs> but that's a lot of trouble. I don't want to do that. Um, so the thing I did was I opened up chat GPT, which I knew could write scripts and I told, and I asked it, um, let me get the exact prompt. I asked it to program a bash script that puts all files inside of a directory called allotted screenshots testing into their own subdirectories with year on top, the month inside of the year folders and the day inside of the month folders. And, uh, it totally wrote me the script and it worked. <laughs> Like, which is crazy. It did exactly what I asked it to and it worked. Um, however, um, you know, I'm not sure if this is the official terminology, um, but the script was written in sort of um, relative terms with the directories. Um, it was assuming that you were the runner running the script in the directory. Um, and so um, I had to change it from relative directories in the script to absolute directories um, because I didn't specify. Um, and you know, I was having some issues with that, but now it works. So the way it works now, right, is my computer, every five minutes, it takes a screenshot, okay? I just got a cursed finger on my cookie cooker. Um, so every five minutes, it takes a screenshot, okay? Um, and then it sees if the screenshot is under um, 40 kil kilobytes. And uh, 40 kilobytes is the size of the screenshot when my computer's locked, right? Because when my computer's locked, they're all black screens. And uh, it still takes a screenshot every five minutes, and that's not ideal to have around. Like, imagine you open up a day folder, and it's just a bunch of, like, lock screenshots. Like, that would suck. Um, so I have it automatically see if it's a lock screenshot, and then it moves it to a separate folder, right? Exclusively for lock screenshots, because I still think it's important to have it. Your computer was locked at that time, but it moves it over. Uh, and then once it does that, it um, uses rsync to move the, um, the file on the computer of the screenshot file to the NAS server. So it moves it there, okay? Um, and then once it does that, it, um, since it's moved to the NAS server, it deletes the file on the computer, okay? And that's great, you know? And then, you know, at night, um, at around, you know, 3 a.m., 7 a.m., I haven't set this part up yet, but it, it'll be very easy to set up. I've set something up like this before, um, everything after this. Um, every night, like 3 a.m. or something, every every morning, technically, it'll, um, uh, Every morning, it will sort all of the screenshots that were moved into the folder into the year, month, day folders, right? And that could probably automatically happen every time the file is updated, but I don't really want to do that. I don't want to deal with that. 
I would rather just have it, um, you know, kind of just on a little bit of a delay. That's fine. Um, it's a little easier to program. It, it, it's it's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I'm totally gonna have a uh, uh, cron like a crony thing run, and it's totally gonna automatically um, sort the files into their own year, month, day subdirectories, um, and that's pretty cool. Um, so I'm, I'm just really happy about that. Um, on my cookie clicker, uh, you know, I, I just descended yesterday. I got. Uh, 10.095 duo decillion cookies per second. Um, I've really gotten into the stocks mechanic in the game. Uh, I used to just only lose money on it because I had kind of um, extrapolated my uh, understanding of stocks in the real world to cookie clicker, and I was thinking, like, man, if I just invest in all of the stocks, like the S&P 500, my, my thing will go up, but uh, it turns out that's not the way it works in the game. And uh, now I've just been waiting for all of, like, a stock to go down to $1, uh, which is the lowest it can go, and then you buy then and then no matter what, it can't go under $1, it can only go up, right? Literally, like like it objectively can only go up. And so if you just wait until something's $1, you buy max shares like 600, um, and then you sell once it goes to anything above $1, um, that it, you will inevitably make money, right? Um, and my usual thing is like $10, once it goes from $1 to $10, that's like a, like a, like a 10 times, you know, increase in, in profit. So that's that's pretty good. Um, and that, that's all in Cookie Clicker. Um, I have work at six. No, I don't. I have work at four. Um, it was actually a little silly because my boss was like, hey, Leo, um, it's actually really not busy at all. Um, do you want to just work, um, from, from four to five? Uh, but apparently, uh, you can only work, you can't work one hour, right? Which is a very silly thing. Uh, and so... Um, I'm pretty sure she was told that I had to work at least two hours, and she's like, oh, actually, can you work from four to six? You know, or you can just not work out. And I was like, maybe I'll just not work today, you know? And she's like, no, actually, sorry, you actually do, you are going to work from four to six, so I'm going to work from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m., which is a two-hour shift, which is very odd, but, um, you know, I don't mind. It's it's two hours of work, you know? It's, it's like a good amount of money, right? So, I don't mind. <sighs> okay, I think that's it. I, I think that's all I have to talk. Oh, I have to open this package. Um... Let's see what's inside of here. It's from Minnesota. Let's hope it's not a bomb or something. That'd be crazy. Um, imagine I die in a, in a ma from a mail bomb. That would be... <laughs> I don't know if that'd be ideal. Um... What is happening? Oh. My parents were very insistent that I get a class ring. It's my class ring. Um, I'm not gonna open that on video. I, I only open that with my parents. Um, it's the 21st of December. Um, What is happening? Oh, here it is. Christmas is in four days, which is kind of crazy. I gotta get some slippers. Check it out. It's sort of a snowman type thing. Let's do 21 on here. I'm pretty sure there's a hazelnut thing. Let's see. Yeah, it's hazelnut. Oh, well, that's fine. It's fine, I can give it to my dad. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I have to talk about. Super silly long video, but you know, what can you do? Um, yeah. All right, see you, dude. Oh, uh, I haven't really eaten anything. I just had some, I've had some coffee in case you couldn't tell. Um, I'm probably gonna have the mess sandwich for dinner at work. See you, dude.